Good evening everyone and you're all very welcome to join me for another dynamic hatha yoga practice. And this evening we're really going to be looking at strength and vitality, bringing strength into the body and the mind and improving and boosting our energy system as we flow in and out of the asanas in practice this evening. To start off with, we're going to centre the body with a little bit of pranayama, mahat yoga pranayama, which is the full yoga breath. And you are welcome to join me either easy cross-legged, a blanket's nice and handy for this part of the class and for after if you want to put the blanket around you for a relaxation part. If it's comfy, you can sit back onto the heels, but take the knees a little bit wide. And we can set the hips back between those heels. You might want to set your hips up on a book or onto a block. It is quite stressful in the knees, guys, so if it doesn't feel good, please always remember to listen to your body as we flow in and out of the poses tonight. So either easy cross-legged or sitting with the hips between the heels, the, the heels are pressing into those outer thighs. Setting the hip bones down, we want to start off with making the body nice and tall, so we lengthen up, the crown of the head draws up, the shoulders draw back and down, the spine and the side of the body is nice and tall, we can drop our chin down towards our chest gently, and we can bring our right hand to those upper abdominal muscles, and the left hand to the heart. And we're going to start to move that right hand with the breath, guys. We'll settle into the breath once I teach you how to move the hands as we breathe. As we inhale, breathe into the right hand, feel the belly expand. Then the same inhale, we breathe into the heart and the chest expands. Then the last part of the inhale, the right hand lifts up to the collarbones. Breathe deeply into the collarbones. As we exhale, the right hand moves back down to the upper abdominals, the belly falls. Then the chest contracts and then the right hand shifts up to the upper lobes and those lobes fall back to the spine. So we're moving that right hand. Right hand to upper abdominals for the inhale, the belly rises. Then the chest expands, the heart expands. Then the right hand moves up to the upper chest and the chest wall lifts, the collarbones lift. Exhaling, right hand moves down, the belly relaxes. Then the chest relaxes, then the right hand moves up and the collarbones soften down. And again, inhale, belly rises. Chest expands, right hand moves up, collarbones lift. Exhaling, right hand moves down, belly softens to the spine, then the chest contracts. Right hand moves back up. And the belly falls down. Start to play with this breath, guys, adding your own length. Seeing if you can make the breath smooth and rhythmical. Allowing each in-breath to roll into each out-breath. Each out-breath to roll into each in-breath. Bringing our awareness into the upper abdominals increases the blood and energy supply to the lower abdomen and the pelvis, the legs and the feet. Breathing into the mid chest increases blood and energy supply to the thoracic cavity, having a lovely massaging effect on the heart. Breathing into the upper chest increases blood and energy to the upper chest and the head stimulating the lymphatic system and the brain cells. As other pranayama, as all other pranayama, this breath helps to quieten the mind. Centering the body, getting ready for our practice this evening. And as we move through the practice, the asanas in this class this evening, remember your intention. My body is strong and healthy. I 
for your next full breath, allow the hands to relax down to the legs and keep the eyes closed and take a few breaths in and out through both nostrils. Really being aware of how the knees feel if you're sitting with the hips between those heels. And we can open the eyes now. And let's bring the hands forward rolling up onto the knees or if you're an easy cross leg, swing the legs behind and we can gently tap out those feet guys. The blanket's nice and handy for a little bit of support in the knees. We're going to nice, we're going to start to flow now. So taking the hips back to the heels again. Let's bring the right hand, the right wrist on top of the left to open the shoulders and the wrists. Big inhale, stand on those knees, core's engaged as we exhale, reach those arms out to the side. Inhale, lungs expand, this time left wrist on top of the right. And as we exhale, the arms come down and the hips go back towards the heel. Big inhale, lungs expand, left wrist is on top of right. Reach up through the arms, exhale, reach those arms away. Inhaling, the right wrist is on top of the left wrist. And as we exhale, the hips go down, the arms are down. And again, inhale, we reach up this time, the eyes can lift up. As we exhale, reach through those arms. Inhaling, left wrist is in front of right wrist. And as we exhale, hips go back towards the heel. Last one, guys. Inhale, we reach up. The eyes can look up. Exhale, reach out of those arms. Inhaling, right wrist is in front of left. And as we exhale, slowly drop the hips back to the heel. Inhale, now we reach up, we're going to stay here. Let's hold on to that left wrist. Tuck those toes under for a little bit more stability. Lengthen up through the side body, the shoulders drop away from the ears and as we exhale, stretch over to the right. Breathing into that left side of the body, you can even bend that left elbow and really encourage working with the stretch. Just stretching till you feel the left side of the body open, not letting that head drop down. Big inhale, we roll back up, hold on to that right wrist and as we exhale, stretch over to the left. Keep rolling that right shoulder back, the left shoulder forward, drawing strongly in through the core. Inhaling, slowly roll back up, reach up through those arms, drop the back of the right hand to the back of the right thigh Exhaling, lift the chest up, slowly dropping the shoulders back. Don't let the head drop back out. Inhaling, right arm sweeps back up, left arm drops to the back of the left thigh. As we exhale, a mini back bend. Thinking of the chest lifting up. Inhaling, that left arm reaches up. As we exhale, untuck the toes, hips go back towards the heel. And again, inhaling, up, standing on the knees, the toes tuck under. As we exhale, hold on the left wrist, stretch over to the right. Inhaling back to the center, hold on to right wrist. Exhale, stretch over to the left. Inhaling back to the center, drop that right hand to the back of the right thigh. Exhaling, mini back bend. Keep drawing the pelvis forward, the core engaged. Inhaling, right arm reaches back up, left arm to the back of the left thigh, and exhaling, baby back stretch. Inhaling, that left arm reaches up, keep those toes tucked under, the core engaged, exhale, bring those arms down. Lengthening those arms away, the knees are underneath those hips, guys, draw those bottom bones back. Toes are tucked under, the fingers are spread really wide. On an inhale, let's lift those knees up. Keep looking between the thumbs, work away from the bottom bones. And as we exhale, we soften those heels down. We're paddling out through the feet. Dog head down, guys. Keep lifting the tailbone up as high as you can. The knees can stay soft, remember. The back wants to be nice and wide. As we inhale, drop back to the knees. Let's thread the chest through, untuck the toes, warming the shoulders and the wrists. As we exhale, toes tuck under, hips back towards the heels, bottoms lift up and bottoms push back. And again, inhale, we drop to the knees, 
thread that chest through, the shoulders roll away from the ears, the chin looks up, and as we exhale, toes tuck under, bottoms lift up, and bottoms draw back. And again, inhale, we drop to the knees. Strong in those arms, don't allow the shoulders to collapse. Warming in through the spine, warming the whole of the back of the body. One more now, inhale, drop to those knees, threading the chest, untucking the toes, exhale, toes tuck under, bottoms up, bottoms back, or don't look at your bass and a dog head down. You can walk the feet slightly forward, and you can either take the eyes to look between the thumbs or surrender that head, finding your drishti, your focus. The back wants to be wide, so Maybe draw the shoulders from the ears and start to wrap the back ribs towards the side body. Bottom bones lift up, bottom bones draw back. Core strongly engaged. Remember only staying as long as feels comfortable for you guys. On an inhale, let's drop back to the knees. To sweep those arms up, as we sweep up, we can let the palms touch. Exhaling, arms down by the side, and we step that right leg forward. Big inhale, sweep the arms up into a low lunge, settling for a few breaths, softening the shoulders down, drawing that left hip bone forward, the right hip bone back. You can untuck the toes for a little bit more instability or for a little bit less balance. That right knee is in line with the right hip. We keep drawing the hips square. The shoulders keep drawing back and down, guys. Let's reach up, inhale. Stretching as far forward as you can, bringing the left hand down to the instep and the right foot. And inhale, reach that right arm up. Arms are in line, strong in that left hand. Twisting the left side of the body forward, the right side gently back. Right hand can drop back down now to that right knee. Left hand to the instep and draw that right knee away. Opening up into that right inner thigh. Left hand stays nice and grounded. Strong in the arm, don't allow the shoulder to collapse, guys. We can roll the left shoulder forward to the right shoulder back, strongly opening into the left side of the pelvis. And if you wish, that back left leg can lift up. The right hand can wrap around and hold on to those right toes. Pressing the foot into the hand to create space between that left heel and left buttock, opening up into the left thigh muscle. Strengthening, lengthening. And slowly release that left leg, sweeping that right arm back up. Drawing the sole of that right foot back to the floor. For runner stretch, we can either stay on the hands, or we can drop to those elbows, guys. Now we want the right heel in line with the right knee. Remember listening to your body all the time. Taking your body to that point of stretch. Drawing the right knee in towards the shoulder. Keep lengthening through those left toes, or if you wish, that back left knee can lift, guys. Try to thread the chest through so we're not rounding into that mid thoracic spine. Drawing the chin forward, the shoulders are back. If the back left knee is lifted, the thighs engaged, we're drawing the left heel back. Slowly dropping that left knee down now, pressing up through the hands, the right hand to the outside of the right foot. Hands either side and we step back to dog head down. Paddling out through those feet, opening the mouth, letting go of the breath through the mouth. Helps to release the jaw, guys. Remember, if you wish, drop to the knees and take the hips back to the heels during this little pause in the class. Strong in the body, strong in the mind. And we can drop back to the knees now. Take the hips back to the heels. Inhale, we sweep those arms to the side body and up. As we exhale, arms come down and we step that left leg forward. Hands either side of that left foot now for low lunge. We can slide the right knee back. Finding a little alignment with the hips. Left hip bone back, right hip bone forward. And on an inhale, we can sweep those arms forwards and up. Dropping the shoulders back and down. 
Shoulders are nice and square. The breastbone is lifting up. The side body is lengthening. The back leg is reaching away. Even think about somebody squeezing those outer hips towards each other. Right toes can tuck under if you wish. Big lengthen as we breathe in. Reach forward, bringing the right hand down into that left instep. Inhale, sweeping the left arm up to the sky into a beautiful low lunge twist. Don't allow the right shoulder to collapse, keep strong in the shoulder. Rolling left shoulder back, right shoulder forward. The eyes can look to the centre or they can look up towards that left thumb in line with that left shoulder. You can bring that left hand down now to the left knee. Strong in the right hand again, left knee draws away. Opening up into that left inner thigh, left outer hip. Again, we're adding a little twist, so we're stimulating our digestion. Working into your kidneys. If you wish, you can pick up those back right toes, only if it feels comfortable. And you'll get a baby stretch into that thigh, that quad muscle. Or you can stretch that left hand around, hold on to those right toes. And we create space. So rather than pulling the heel into the buttock, press the foot into the hand. The eyes can look to the side or they can look over that. Left shoulder, guys. And release that back right leg. Sweep that left arm back around. Draw that left knee in for runner's stretch. We can stay on the hands here, pressing strongly out of the hands, drawing that left knee strongly into the arm, the shoulder, the tricep. Or if you wish, you can try to drop down to the elbows. Depending on how the hip flexors feel today, guys. As we do that, there's gonna be an instant round in the mid of the spine. So the chest threads through. Left hip bone draws back, right hip bone draws forward. And if you wish, those right toes can tuck under and we can pick up that right knee. Drawing the right knee away, strong stretch. Listen to your body. Open the mouth, let the jaw relax, guys. And we can drop that right knee back to the mat, push up to the hands, hands either side of that left foot. And again, we step back to dog head down. Our hips go back towards the heels, guys, into balasana, child's pose, and have a little rest. If the hamstrings feel nice and open and feel nice and open, find a nice static position, guys. With each inhalation, think about creating strength and length in the body. We stretch out of the arms. We drop through those shoulders. The buttocks lift up. The bottom bones push back. If the heels are down, you can think about lifting the toes, engaging those thighs. Completely relaxing through the head and tuning into your ujjayi breathing. That energizing breath, that boost of vitality. Improves our mood. Let's flow again now. On an inhale, let's lift that right leg super high. Look between the thumbs. And as we exhale, draw right knee to nose, draw the belly in, stepping right foot between the hands. Coming up into a high lunge. We can drop that left knee if you prefer, or inhale. Sweep those arms forwards and up. We can bend that back left knee, square off the shoulders. Right hip bone back, left hip bone forward. Drawing the elbows down to cactus now. Think about lifting the breastbone up, drawing the shoulders back, the eyes can look forward or up. And start to press away from that back left hip. Opening strongly into the left hip flexor, the thigh. Big inhale, stretch those arms back up. Reaching forwards again, left hand to the instep of the right foot. And an inhale, sweep that right arm up to the sky. Strongly pressing away from that left heel. Pressing strongly out of that left hand, guys. Slowly bring that right hand back down. Inhale, we sweep back up to your high lunge. And as we exhale, bring the right arm forward, the left arm back. 
And that right heel's in line with that left instep, guys. Engage through the thighs, right knee's a little bit soft. Exhale, stretch as far over to the right as you can. Feel that nice pull to the right inner thigh. Both inner thighs are rotating away from each other. Think of length. Left hip, hip bones drawing up. Right hand can go down, left arm can reach up. Then keep that left hand on the waist or the left arm can roll around the back and maybe even hold on to that right thigh. They open that left shoulder a little bit more. Very much an asana practice today, guys. Focusing on the physical strength of the body. Back left in step is lifting. Keep drawing down into that fist. Slowly release that left arm up. Look towards those right toes. Left hand to the waist, bring that right hand forward as we go into a nice revolved moon. So we can slide those left toes up. Inhaling, lifting up through that left leg, pressing strongly out of the left foot. Right knees a little bit soft. Eyes can look down, eyes can look to the side. And we can extend through that left arm if it feels good. Don't hold your breath. Free or be aware of where the breath is in the body. Finding your focus, your drishti. Being aware of what you're looking at, what you're thinking as you flow in and out of a balance. Slowly let that left arm drop back down, bending that right knee deeply. Let's step the legs back to high plank now. Feel the work into that right thigh. Shoulders are forward, rolling the elbows in. Exhale, slowly lower chaturanga. Inhale, lift the chest up, roll the shoulders back, the chin looks up. And as we exhale, two dog head down. Becoming still in this pose. Tuning into the breath, tuning into the strength in the body. Being aware of where the tension spots are in the body. And directing your, your in breath to any tension and Releasing it with the out breath. Draw into that thumb, that index finger to remove, remove any stress from the wrist. Eyes look between the thumbs now. Inhale, that left leg lifts up super high. Toes up to the sky. Exhale, left knee to nose. Stepping that left foot between the hands. Hands to the knees if you wish or inhale, sweep those arms forward and up. Right knee can stay on the ground or we can deeply bend that right knee. Left hip bone draws back, right hip bone forward. Shoulders are square, tailbone shining down. Mula Bandha pelvic floor is lifted, navel draws in. Dropping the bottom two, rib two, two ribs. You can drop the elbows in line with the shoulders for cactus. Starting to lift the breastbone up. Sneaking the left hip bone back more. And if you wish, start to draw that back right heel away without letting the hips lift up any higher. Find your balance in this pose, your focus. Inhaling, stretching up through the arms. Reaching forward as we bring the right hand into the instep of the left foot. And inhaling, sweeping that left arm up to the sky. Strong in that right hand, guys. Eyes can look forward, eyes can look up, keep rolling and twisting. Slowly lower that left hand down. On an inhale, we, whoops, roll back up. And we're going to draw that right arm behind the left arm forward. And that left heel's in line with the right instep. The thighs are engaged. Maybe that left knee would like to be a little bit soft. Big inhale, we lengthen as we exhale, stretch as far to the left as you can. Rotate the inner thighs away, drawing down into that back right foot. And that left hand can go down, the right arm can reach up for Trikonasana. 
Remember, we don't want the left shoulder to collapse. So keep creating a little bit of space. That right hand can roll around the back to open that right shoulder. Or we can even hold on to that left inner thigh. Keep rotating through those thighs. Keep grounding and rooting into those feet. Thinking about creating space in the body, space between the breath, space between the thoughts. Releasing the right hand now, rolling it back up. We can go back to the waist as we bend that left knee, look to the left toes, hands in advance. Maybe both hands would prefer to be on the floor today. Or right hand to the waist as we sneak those right toes up. Limited for space to that. And if it feels good, we can lift that back right leg. Left knee soft, you're going to feel that work strongly into that left ankle. If we press away through the right foot, dropping that right hip down, you may want to start to roll the right shoulder back, the left shoulder forward. And if you wish, you can extend through that right arm. Don't let that left shoulder collapse, guys. Think strong in the body. Don't hold the breath. Strong in the mind. Slowly lower that right hand down, bending that right knee. Hands are either side of that right foot as we step back to high plank. Hands underneath the shoulders, strong in those arms, shoulders away from the ears. Think about really drawing in through your core, your tailbone shines. Gently behind, the thighs are engaged, the calves are engaged, the core is engaged. Nice inhale, feel those lungs expand as we exhale. Bottoms up, bottoms back, dog head down. Inhaling, rippling up onto the toes as we roll into plank, strong in the core. Exhale, bottoms up, bottoms back, dog head down. Inhale, rippling up again into plank if you wish this time. Soften your pelvis down, the chest lifts up, the shoulders roll back, the chin looks up. Exhaling, bottoms up, bottoms back. Keep drawing into the thumb, guys, that index finger. Inhaling, rippling forward shoulders. Over those wrists, the hips can soft down. The chest lifts up, the shoulders roll back. Exhaling, dog head down. Remembering your options here, you may want to stop at table or drop to the knees. Inhaling. Rippling forward, chest can lift up, hips can drop down, and exhaling to dog head down. Let's bring those heels together, flicking the feet or the toes out, and we will walk the hands towards the feet. The knees roll out, and we drop the hips down towards those heels. Just a nice way of getting down to the floor. If we can, from here, draw those knees in, roll back to your bottoms and bring the soles of the feet together. So just a few more little stretches and then we have Shavasana. Long-legged butterflies, a lovely stretch for the inner thighs for opening up into the lower back, guys. Starting to bring a little bit of cool down and floor work into our practice this evening. So hips can be elevated. Pressing the feet in together, drawing the legs away. The knees flop out, big inhale, we can lengthen. As we exhale, encourage the chest bone towards those heels. And allow the body to soften down, to relax. The eyes can keep looking between the toes or you can soften the head. The chin relaxes, the head relaxes. And the shoulders relax. Taking a bit of time here to start to release tension in the body. Finding that place where you feel the sensation, the stretch. Or where you feel any tension. And we tune into the breath and the breath directs to the stretch or the tension. And as we exhale, soften that, that sensation you're feeling. So 
slowly rolling back up. And we can draw that left leg away. Nice little twist, a deer pose now. Hands, we're bringing that left hand over. Just in advance of that right knee. And we can walk the hands forward. You may want to stay on the hands. You're going to feel a lovely stretch into the left hip, the outer hip. Both knees are nice and bent. Allow the left shoulder to drop down. You may even want to drop to the elbows here. Chest can soften down, the further it softens down, the more, the more we open into the left abdominal area of the pelvis. You can even soften down forehead onto the forearm. Feeling that lovely stretch into the right outer hip now as well. Bringing the hands back up now. Bringing that left foot forward, soles of the feet are together once again. And we can draw that right leg back. So if you think of that left heel and right knee, they're not together, they're nice and apart. Right heels in line with left heels in line with left knee. And then that right knee is in line with the, the ankle. Drawing the right shoulder forward. So that we're just looking past that right knee, that left knee. Hands can stay on the floor, we can lift up through the chest, you're going to feel that nice stretch into the left hip, the left kidney. Drawing the right hip bone forward, shoulders release away from the ears. If you want, if you wish, you can walk those hands forward, dropping to the elbows. Deepening the stretch gently, allowing that right hip bone to feel really heavy. Or you can soften those hands forwards and down, resting the forehead onto the forearm. Just taking time to allow the body to start to relax, the breathing to relax. We can press back up now, rolling back around to the center. Soles of the feet together again, this time cobbler pose. Let's bring the heels close to the pelvis. We can shimmy the hips towards those heels. You can wrap your two fingers around your toes, squeezing the soles of the feet together. We can lengthen on the inhale. Elbows to the knees, exhale, nose in advance of the toes. Then chin to chest, allow the head to relax. If you feel the shoulders cramping, release the hands, stretch away from the arm. And you can use those hands to draw the bottom bone back, to draw the tailbone gently under to help to open the pelvis a little bit more again. I'm walking the hands back up now, drawing the knees in. And you can lengthen those legs out and gently rock those legs in and out, away from each other. Arms can go forwards now. You can use the elbows, we're going to ease down to your backs for a few minutes of relaxation to finish off. See how you work, how much you work the core as you draw the tailbone under. Slowly setting each vertebrae down on the mat one at a time. Remember, use the elbows or slowly ease down to your back. The feet go wide. We know this position, this posture, this asana very well. Look to see that the body is lying in symmetry, even position the body over an imaginary line. With the eyes closed, guys, tuck the chin down towards the chest. And allow the body to feel heavy and soft. The fingers. 
fingers to curl naturally in towards the palm. Start to feel really supported. Allow the body to start to find a still. And become aware of your in-breath. No forcing or controlling, just aware of it entering and leaving the body. And aware of what happens when you breathe in. The belly rises and the chest expands and the collarbones lift. Each in breath you take, feel the body floating upwards, getting lighter, getting softer. You bring your awareness to the out breath, to the exhalation. Again, there's no effort, it just comes and goes. Watching your breath. Starting to feel each out breath ground you down. Pushing you down. Allow the breath to become longer and slower. As you bring your awareness back to your intention. Our body is strong and healthy. Breath goes stronger now as we bring a little bit of movement back into the fingers, back into the toes. And you can bring the hands together and hold or hover those hands or gently rub. Generating a little bit of heat to prana. And those hands can go over the eyes, they can go over the heart or they can go over the shoulders. Feel that heat energy filter into every cell in the body. Warming, nourishing, relaxing, releasing. You can stretch the arms and the legs away, allowing the body to yawn, to stretch. And in your own time, we can roll over onto the right side of the body. Taking time to tap into your emotions, your feelings. And be thanking yourselves for taking time out for you this evening. In your own time, we can press back up. Coming back to easy cross leg position. Sealing the practice now, bringing the hands to the heart centre, guys. Thank you also for so very much for continuing to practice um, dynamic Hatha and Hatha Yoga with me. I'm really looking forward to us getting back into the classes and having that one-on-one -on -one or that group interaction again. I really miss it. It'd be good to get a few of the harder postures done as well. Until then, I will see you all very soon on the mat. Have a great week. Let's bow your chin to your chest as we I'll say together that divine gesture. Namaste.